Mark Meldrum out here, Northern Ireland Chevelle Club. Well, maybe Northern Ohio Chevelle Club, but I got the hat on. I got the Pinky Blinders hat on today. I've been watching that series. God, I just love it. You know, Patty went over to Ireland uh, last year with her sister and met up with Liam and Liz, great Chevelle owners over in Ireland, and uh, brought me back this hat, like I say. And uh, I've been watching this Pinky Blinders series on Netflix, and I'm really... I'm really caught up in that. I'm on season four watching it. Oh, I've been binge watching that. But hey, I got to get out here in the garage and show you guys how to build some Chevelles. So it's snowing again out here in Northern Ohio, Northern Ireland, Ohio. And uh, we're working on uh, disc brakes. Bought this kit from ground up over Christmas time. Had a heck of a discount. I think it was like 20% off, free shipping. Couldn't go wrong. It is uh, slotted and disc road. Yeah, it's not Brimbo brakes, but uh, I just wanted to replace the front drum brakes because I think this LS motor is going to need some slowing down, if you know what I mean. It have a few more horsepower than that uh, that little six cylinder we had in this thing. So uh, you can see I've been packing uh, packing the grease. Oh, I love to pack grease, nice and messy. And uh, this, of course, this thing. Uh, this already has the uh, seat installed, so I put some grease in there, and I've got this all lubed up now. We're gonna set the uh, bearings down in there, and uh, let me see, find a little rag here. My hands wiped off just a tad, so I don't get the grease all over the place. It's a messy job. Got the uh, seal that's gonna go right on top of here, okay? Make sure it starts a little bit. And I don't have any fancy uh, tool to put in that. I found a, found an old pulley sitting in the uh, cabinet over there, a little hammer, and uh, we're just gonna tap it in there until we feel that it is fully seated. All right, there you go. So we'll continue on with this project on this fine Saturday, and we'll show you some tips and tricks along the way. So Mark Meldrum, Northern Ohio, Ireland, Chevelle Shell and Meldrum's Monster Garage. Let's let's go tip a tip a point, eh? Say <laughs>see what's going on here uh, you can see that uh, back here I've got a new spring installed and uh, this is a small block spring I had big block springs in here so since I was gonna have this all apart it, another good opportune time to uh, change over to disc brakes so one thing that kind of bit me in the butt last weekend were these little uh, steering wheel kind of shaped like a C here gonna fit right back here these holes here on the earlier 66 probably 64 65 Chevelles uh, they were not half inch holes so the bolt uh, that we're using for this new kit which is uh, half inch wouldn't go through so I ordered up a new set so that you know we'll go through that so that's one of the troubles you might run into uh, with this uh, conversion kit. So you can kind of see I've got this almost uh, pre-assembled here a little bit and uh, um, I've got this uh, steering linkage already hooked up back here and uh, of course this is the disc brake holder that's going to go on first up here of course uh, let's get it all straightened out here there we go it's going to go like that I didn't practice this so it is what it is. You can probably see I've got some grease on there. And I'm going to put this top uh, bolt in first. <coughs> Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to thread that in just a little bit. Just to, just to hold it in place. Alright. See I've got some grease on there. You can never use too much grease. And then of course... Uh, Gonna put the bolts through here and you gotta get everything to line up now. You got uh, a couple pieces back there on the steering, and of course, this isn't gonna cooperate for the camera. 
as usual. But there we go. Tap there. Alright. So I can feel it coming through there. And of course we got a nut that's gonna go on the back side. That's a locking nut. We'll get it started. Let's see here. And we'll get everything, of course, lined up there. Of course, like I said, it's a little bit of a struggle, but uh, cut and we'll come back all back together. All right, so we got uh, this all tightened up here, these three mounting bolts. And of course, uh, you got some locking tabs for this top one that you're gonna have to bend over. So uh, I'm just gonna tap that into place. There we go, got that one, and of course that one, and we are all, all set there, okay? Now, next thing we're going to do is, of course, we've already got the uh, uh, bearing installed. And we're going to slip this on. Once again, I've got a lot of grease on there. I got my cap protector on there to protect that right now. Get the plastic out of the way. And we're going to put in our full disc assembly there. All right, so now we got this front race all greased up with some nice high temperature grease. And of course, we're going to set that right on there. Okay, spin it a little bit, make sure it's okay. Now we're going to take the uh, front uh, nut here and we're going to put that on. All right, we're on the other side now. And uh, hey, just remembered I forgot a part. So oh, don't forget, got a little notched washer there that goes on there before you put the nut on. So we'll take the other side apart and put that back in it's going too fast but uh, you know you know how to do it all right so then and see I got this on here now but uh, I had to go track down an inch and uh, 1 16th uh, wrench and you're going to tighten that up of course you don't want to go too tight because uh, now it doesn't really turn that good so I'm going to back off. I made sure it was seated and I'm going to back off a little bit here so that it spins freely and there's no play there. So now we'll get it to line up with a hole there so we can stick our cotter key through there. All right. Get that bent over, of course. Probably got too big of a cotter key in there. But uh, what I wanted to show you uh, was something really cool. Uh, you can see this. I, I don't see these too often. Uh, they fit inside the uh, grease cap here. I don't know if they are meant to swirl the grease around or whatnot. But, uh, you know, once again, never can have too much grease in there. So we'll put a little bit there. We'll put a little bit more in the cup so it's got some grease to grab from if it needs it in the future and of course we'll uh, put the grease uh, swirler in there put the cap on and uh, of course we'll knock this in here okay you can see that the uh, spring spins freely now good shape there and uh, of course we got grease everywhere so we're gonna start to clean this off to get rid of the grease with some good uh, PB blaster made here right here in Cleveland Ohio PB blaster and uh, we'll get that uh, all cleaned up and uh, ready to go ready for See, putting the uh, disc brake on, 
make everything. It does have a left and the right side. You can see this is the left, and we are working, that means driver's side. And uh, we're wanting to make sure that the bleeder screw is pointed up. It's another way to uh, double check yourself. And of course, you're just going to slide it on there. It's a uh, handy dandy uh, Allen bolts, and they're got a fine thread, and they're going to go in top and bottom here. And of course, you got to finagle everything again to get it to line up again. So a little tap here and there, not going to hurt anything. Of course, they had to, had to dig out. Oh, these professional mechanics are laughing at me. I'm, the, I'm in here in a nice uh, halfway warm garage. Of course, it is It is kind of cold today. And uh, trying to get everything to line up here. There we go. And of course, you struggle with finding the right tools. Of course, I had to get a... Yeah. All right, I'll show you this. Uh, on the uh, passenger side so don't forget you've got a uh, bolt here special bolt it's got a little hole in it right there I don't know if you can see that and of course you got two washers uh, one's gonna go on either side of that and then the hose is uh, fitting is gonna get clamped in between there so I'll show you that all right there you can see the hose is on there now you got a washer on this side a washer on that side and uh, I'm not going to tighten it up because uh, we'll need to decide uh, where this hose gets so it doesn't get bound up and rub against the frame as the wheels uh, turn from side to side. Okay? So. All right, the uh, kit's quite comprehensive and uh, it comes with a cool uh, little clamp here, but uh, we've already got the original style on here and uh, I think it's a little bit nicer and so we're going to we're gonna pitch, we're gonna pitch that, and uh, we'll stick with the original. But uh, you can see the hose goes right there, okay? And then you got a little clip to hold it in place. And voila, there you go. You got the uh, brake assembly installed. Uh, we'll turn this side to side and make sure uh, we're not hitting the hose on anything. And then of course we've got the. Uh, um, tubing to go to up to the uh, master brake assembly which we'll do at a later time so uh, we'll get to work on the other side hopefully you enjoyed this from Meldrum's Monster Garage and and Pinky Blinders and uh, get out in the garage work on your Chevelles I know it's cold outside but hey you gotta do what you gotta do see ya